Hey, they're playing Ganon, but you know a good way to figure that out is the recently opened beta PG stats. <laughs> we can oh, type in their yeah. name and find out who they are and, you know, all that all that stuff. But yeah, we're going to be getting into our game one here. Again, we got VG Addict taking on Quick Play Knight starting off on Battlefield here with the uh, the age-old classic. I don't really know if that's a classic, but Ganondorf taking on Ness. <laughs> it's like a mid-tier matchup in Melee. But uh, already no, the Ganon, Ganon's like... Ganon's actually pretty solid in melee. And Ness is Ganon's actually mid garbage. Yeah, Ganon's mid tier is still Ness pretty solid. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a mid tier matchup. <laughs> but anyway, right now uh, we're seeing a lot of damage being done with these PK fires here. But there we go. Uh, VG Attic gonna get a little bit of damage with that Nair. That Nair is so gross, dude. See that he went for jump reverse Warlock punch. Good yeah, down here to at least try and create some space there at center stage. Doesn't quite work out as Quick Play Knight just immediately gets himself back into the action. But I do like the idea behind it. Now, VG Addict's being a little bit hesitant to approach, but he waited for his opportunity, got that dash attack up air, which is going to keep working for a while, but oh, that he just sucks. gets caught by PK Fire. Yeah. No, that not only is that, but he ran up to get the grab and actually ended up doing a turnaround grab. I think he tried grabbing and then immediately back throwing, kind of like that right there, but ended up uh, in putting the uh the turnaround grab which is really unfortunate but vg addicts has been doing a fantastic job of staying patient like you said finding those openings and really making it count i mean they've got a nice little percentage lead here and uh that is not gonna do it uh, wow wow good di yeah some really good di from quick play night and this matchup i gotta say skip is trash for ganon so i'm really impressed at vg addict holding his own and i think like we've said a couple of times that's really due something. to the patience uh he was waiting for, for some good openings. There we go, there we go. And he gets one right there with the dash stack to close out the stock. So we are going to go right back to even. Two stocks apiece, zero, zero. Quick play Knight is going to take the first damage, but going to immediately fall, uh, fire back with a couple PK fires. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, uh, like, like, like you mentioned, um, yeah, he's been being, being patient. I think uh -oh. that's where... No, he's going to make it back. I think that's where Ganondorf's honestly actually really thrive is that they're able to be patient. And then once, as soon as, you know... The patience doesn't need to be, you know, they find that opening, they exploit it as much as possible, and then just pile on this damage. And from there, it's just read base to close out the stock. Um, it doesn't always have to be read. You can always just find your opening. But, like, uh, Ganondorf is a character that requires a player with strong reads. And uh, it seems like VG Attic has been doing decently well with that, but the patience game has been super good so far. We just saw a down smash from uh, Quick Play. Not going to take him out, actually. Just sending across the stage. A little awkward. Yeah, it's just a really tough matchup, and right now, we're seeing exactly why, just because it's a lot of long, active hitboxes that are just disjointed enough from Ness that they'll beat out Ooh. anything. Ganon wants oh to my do God. that game, Quick Play Knight, the setup of a lifetime. He just didn't quite capitalize on it. If that bear had sweet spotted, that would have been a Twitter clip for the night. But oh, he's going to be do that? Anyway, thanks to the tail end of the PK Thunder, too. Oh. I'm going to catch him, steal his jump, and send him to his grave. Now, Quick Play Knight playing with the advantage, and it's going to be much, much harder for VG Attic to execute that game plan that's been working so well for him. That patience is going to be harder to pull off when you're playing from a deficit. Quick Play Knight coming back to stage. Uh, I think, I think earlier, um, it probably would have been better, like, on that recovery, if uh, VG Attic had actually just gone, gone ahead and, you know, used his up special and just actually just connected with the... Um, with the PK uh, Lightning because, uh, or PK Thunder, it, it would have just, lightning. <laughs> whatever, it, PK Thunder, because it would have just popped him up a little bit more. He would have been able to recover a little bit better, but either yeah. way, it's already passed. It's already behind him, but we're going to see a couple PK fires right there, building up a little bit of damage. And yeah, dude, VG Attic definitely looks like they are running out of patience here. And that is why this game is being thrown away right now. That's going to be huge. I thought we were going to see a down smash. I thought we were going to see a down air. Didn't quite work out. And the Nair is finally going to take the stock, but at 96%, He's playing on a razor's edge, looking at death at any given second. Gets really Ooh. lucky with the hitbox from the up B that prevents him from losing the stock right there. Trying to go for a roll away read with that dash attack. Not quite going to work out. And right now, he's one back throw away from losing the game. Connects the fair to beat out the side B. Gets caught by Nair instead of that F, uh, instead of that fair. Look for the uh, uh, can't quite find it. Okay, now I can see again. <laughs> All right. It's the PK. Yeah. And there we go. We're going to see the back air right there to yeah, yeah. close out that game. Really good back air. And like I said, VG Addict.
game plan here seems to rely mostly on playing from ahead, right? Uh, where he has the opportunity to be patient, to wait for Quick Play Knight to make these mistakes. And then as soon as Quick Play Knight got himself a stock lead and the onus of approach was no longer on him, he had the ability to just play back and wait for VG Attic to be forced to approach and then punish those approaches with just superior options. Ganon doesn't have many choices in those situations without being able to play patient and look for reads. Yeah, no, I think you said it best. It's just a matter of, um, of VG Attic here just God, maintaining that patience. Even if you end up losing the lead a little bit, you just got to take your time, find a way to get those hits in. We'll see if there's something different in the game too. Maybe we'll see a character change. Maybe uh, I think the stage definitely needs to be something different. I, I don't know how Ganon normally does on um, on Battlefield, but I think I think we might need to see a change, especially when it just comes to fighting Ness. I think that can be very tough. Unless you're like... So, One of the top Ganons, I think it's it's definitely a time to switch. So in terms of stage, if he's staying Ganon, I think the best stage for this matchup would probably be Town and City. Because it gives you uh, room to create space away from the nest throwing out hitboxes. But also has those super, super nice blast zones for early nair kills. And we're going to go to Smashville instead. So I think actually what VG Addict is thinking is the exact opposite of what I just said. He wants to eliminate the space between him and the Psychic Child as much as possible. But in my opinion, that's a bit of a blunder because Ness just has a lot of hitboxes that he can throw out very fast. And in close quarters, Ganon just can't contest that. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Uh, that's going to be the stock for sure. Oh, yeah, she's going to make it back. Oh, Never mind, dude. No, VG Attic doing a very good job of getting back to the stage there. Uh, now it's just a matter of just trying to get some damage on the board because right now, uh, Quick Play Knight is definitely running away with this. Like you said earlier, Ness is a moving hitbox, which is a very big problem for big-bodied characters like Ganon who don't have a lot of that crazy mobility or just like a sort of projectile to kind of, you know, Play, play the distance game. Ganondorf has to be very much in your face. And there we go, man. This could be a huge read. No, not going to be able to get it as Quick Play Knight's going to roll out. Unfortunate. Yeah, that's not the first roll-in read that VG Addict has gone for that Quick Play Knight, you know, hasn't fallen for. So I think it's showing really good situational awareness on Quick Play... On, on, the, on the side of Quick oh, Play Oh, there we go. There we go. VG Addict gets the first big read of the set. Catches him getting neutral, uh, catches, catches him doing neutral get up right into that up smash. Big ol' sword. This could be the stock if he plays it right, and it absolutely is. That nest coming off stage, even if the fair doesn't connect, is super intimidating. So that's going to be bringing us once again to even two stocks apiece. Going to be a down throw, fa uh, down throw nair. Not able to get the F smash out of it, though, so. Resetting to neutral. Almost catches him rolling in there, or air dodging in, I mean. Okay. Up by double fair. Nair beats out PK Fire, but not able to get back on the stage quite yet. And this could have been a mistake, but the PK Fire doesn't come out quick enough. And now we're dead even, Skiff. Yep, uh, we're going to see a couple of the wizard kicks. In. Okay, it's going to go for the back air right out of uh, right out of the second wizard kick. You know what? If it works, it works. But yeah, man, uh, right now Quick Play Knight's doing a good job getting his damage down. We saw we see another one of those turnaround... Uh, Turn around grabs on accident. I wonder if they're playing on Joy Cons and they're starting to get that drip problem or something like that. Because oh, that is unfortunate. But here we go, man. Thing. We've got uh, another Death Spade case on our hand with a single Joy Con player. <laughs> Did I miss I mean, it could be, could be the couple of Joy Cons. You know, it could be both of them. So right there, Quick Play Knight missed the tech, but because he's actually been teching so often off of those side Bs, Quick Play or VG Addict wasn't actually ready to punish the no tech and ended up getting no punish in that situation either. No edge guard here. Not going to be able to do anything with the yo-yo. So VG Addict still holding on to this stock. Full rage going to be on the board in just a moment. And for oh, Ness, he was looking for something big scary. right there with that up smash. That was actually that would, could have been absolutely dangerous. Honestly, right, but, the up smash could have killed. With, it could have, with yeah. Rage, if, if you, with if rage you're... Ganon on a character like Ness, back here going to connect here and send him really far. He's going to go for that ledge cancel, uh, ledge cancel wizard's foot. Not going to put him in the position he wants, but now full rage. All right, there we go. Good We're going to see Nair off stage just to kind of get that pressure off of him. All right, good little ledge cancel right there at the edge of that wizard's foot. I want to see Ganon side, Skiff. I mean, we could see. I wish we uh, we saw earlier. Yeah. There we go. The moving hitbox. The Nair, 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 Nair. Until he closes out the stock. But at 126, this Ganon should be closing it out. The dash attack smash feels way too small. And we're going to see VG Attic get a point on the board. Good stuff. So... 
I was talking about how I thought Smashville wasn't the best stage for it, but VG Attic doing a great job of proving me pretty wrong in that situation because, hey, not only did he take the game, but he did it from quite a bit of a lead. I think that really came down to uh, him playing, like I said, with the lead very, very well. Mm -hmm. No, did a very fantastic job. And uh, I, honestly, I think Smashville ended up working a little bit better. Like, yes, it could become a problem where Ness is like, um, you know, again, moving hitbox puts it on a lot of pressure. But like uh, he was still able to get his like his patience game plan, uh, you know, implemented and was able to get the proper punishes, able to get the stocks. And honestly, that's really what counts for Ganondorf. Uh, I, I don't know if the bigger stage would have definitely been good, but like I think you are right that it would allow him to implement his game plan at least a little bit better. So now going into game three, we're going to see the same matchup. I don't think one of them left the arena, so we could see it run run back on Smashville, but actually, no. We're going back to the first game, Skiff. Here we are on Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield is going to be interesting. I think that, like, VG Attic was honestly doing good uh, game one here. It's just that Quick Play Knight got a couple, you know, really, really successful uh, spots. Um, you know, building some good damage, some good hits, taking some stocks. I think VG Attic just kind of ran out of patience. We saw that at the end, for sure. Getting started off here, staying super even at the moment, looking for that big F smash, and that's not the first time that VG Addict has looked for it. Still hasn't been able to find it yet. And off he goes to the races with the fairs. Good down air, up air though, to build up a lot of percent. Oh, and get it, the no. F smash to close out that stock. See, that is exactly what you need to be doing when you're playing Ganondorf, man. Find a couple ways to get those strong hits in there, and people will panic. People will start to crumble a little bit, and then you use that fear against them, getting that that stock ending hit right there. Beautiful up smash, man. Well placed. Right, and I think you're the one who I've heard say this. Like, Ganon's a bottom one character, but people don't play against him like a bottom one character. He's scary. No, no, no he, dude, he's terrifying. I, I have that issue all the time. I go in there, I'm like, I know I could I could do all this damage against Ganondorf, but the thing is, is he's going to get a couple hits, and I'm just going to I'm gonna panic. I'm going to get scared. I'm like, I'm one hit away. And, like, honestly, we just saw that. <laughs> and, uh... Big, big moves from VG Addict, and now he's got the lead, so he can do exactly what he wants to. He can play back, he can play patient, forcing Quick Play Knight to make these approaches. And one, like you said, one mistaken approach is going to be the end of a beautiful tech. Can't quite escape from the yo-yo, though, so he's going to be put right back mm -hmm. in the same position. Gets up right into that up smash. So that's going to be the second stock, but I like what I'm seeing from VG Addict right now. Yeah, no, definitely looking a lot better, looking like he's a lot more composed. I think that game one just kind of got rid of some of the heebie-jeebies that he was dealing with there. Ooh, that's a good wizard's foot right into a nair, putting him off stage. And just enough, is he going to be able to make it back? No, he won't. He's going to angle it wrong. Unfortunate. VG Attic up a whole fresh stock now. Yeah, so that thrown away stock from Quick Play Knight, unless he's not careful, that's going to decide the set. Straight up, because he just... We were talking about how well VG Attic plays with the lead. He just handed VG Attic a huge one. Mm -hmm. Good Nair to start himself off, but he doesn't quite get the follow-up. That up smash could have been dangerous, but doesn't quite get it. And Quick Play Knight's playing with these PK fires really well because he knows that Ganon just doesn't have a tool to contest that very well. Or at least not one that doesn't put him in an even worse position. Right. Well, let's see. Okay, VG Attic is going to be able to get back to the stage here. Yeah, he does have to be careful. I think that he's recognizing that he has such a big lead right now, and he's trying to, like... He's not playing as effectively as he could be. Beautiful DI on that, though. That was actually really well done. Okay, there we go. Starting to get some damage on. He's still alive. He's still alive. Living through that <laughs> at 169. Can't even get that PK fire to hit. Now VG Addict with full rage? I wouldn't he's be like, surprised. He's like fifth heaviest character? Yeah. Gonna connect with the Nair there, so it's finally going to close him out. Only 45% extra credit on the board, Skiff. That's probably not as much as I would have liked to see, especially mm -hmm. for, like, the big boon of the uh, easy free kill at zero that he was given. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. Quick Play Knight definitely made the most out of that stock there. Uh, did a fantastic job. Now he's got the percentage lead on final stock situation, but Ganondorf still has the lead here. 45%, that's a couple strong hits and a good read, and that's a good buy to Quick Play Knight, but he's doing a good job staying patient on his own end, you know, not pushing anything, finding his hits, and really, uh, Ness can be a great hit and run character, especially on a character the size of Ganondorf. It's just a matter of making it happen, but oh, that's a big opening. Ooh. Looking for the up smash there, but the PK fire is just going to barely knock him out of it. Trying to delay himself in the air at the last <laughs> moment, and that's going to be curtain. so a beautiful bit of play from Quick Play Knight. After throwing away 
an easy stock came all the way back and just held it down takes the uh takes the set great play like i have nothing bad to say about how he played that final stock no 